Daily Encouragement for Thursday, May 28, 2020. The verse comes from Galatians 1, 6-9, New King James. Only one gospel. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. In Christ alone is the title of today's devotion. These are strong words, but such words are needed to safeguard the glorious gospel of the blessed God. 1 Timothy 1.11 A pastor and his wife had the opportunity to visit the Mormon complex in Salt Lake City. Visitors were not permitted into the temple precincts, but there was an impressive visitor center. At the entrance stood an imposing statue of Christ. From there they were conducted down a hallway, on the walls of which were pictures of scenes in the life of our Lord. All appeared to follow the gospel record. So far, so good. Although they were a trifle embarrassed by their daughter's loud and clear question, What's wrong with all this, Daddy? Then they turned a corner, and it was like moving from reality into fantasy. In a large glass case, there was an effigy of Joseph Smith receiving the infamous golden plates from the hands of an angel. The words of the apostle became instantly apparent, or an angel from heaven. The significance was not lost of that particular phrase being included in Paul's anathema. Their concerns were strengthened still further as they watched a film which made the statement, Faith in Christ is not enough. Pray with me. Faith in you, Jesus, is enough. Confessing our sins and confessing your name is all that is required, Lord. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We come to the Father no other way. There is nothing we add to that, Lord. It is you and you alone, Jesus. Rebuke any deception that would lead us astray. We thank you and trust you for it, Lord. Amen. All right. And the links are there, as usual, if you want to check that out. So give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. And leave a comment, question, prayer request. Love to hear from you. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.